Good morning to everyone and this is Daniel's diary, number one. If there's a number two, I'll be amazed. But uh, I've been trying to do a hobby. Um, I've got a few hobbies, but I need a new one. Exciting one, one with passion. Um, and I think I found one. And it is in fact, um, chicken rearing on a massive scale. So what we've got here is uh, I bought myself a incubator. So there it is. Uh, I think it cost me 15 or 20 pounds from Shopee. That's in the Philippines where I am. But you can buy them from any, any place really. Have them delivered. Add water, plug it in the wall, that's it. You need do no more. So, it arrived yesterday afternoon. So this has been running for about half a day. Um, so there it is. You have some water containers, uh, which are filled with water. Screw in a bottle of Coke. Take the coke out first, because the old chickens don't like that. Add some water to it, plug, put it in, and that feeds water into the bottom of this uh, to keep it humid and moist. Now that what that that helps the development of the embryo, and it makes the shell a little bit more softer, so the old chicken when he's due to come out can peck away at it and he's not struggling too much okay husbandry skills here so you go down the supermarket and you buy yourself a dozen eggs and you put them all in there in the line now if you've got the sort of incubator that allows you to stand an egg up the pointy end goes down, so the air sac inside the egg is at the top. I haven't got that luxury. My eggs have to lie down, so that's their hard look, isn't it? So they go in there and you leave them. That's basically your hobby. You're doing nothing. <laughs> Sounds a great hobby. Um, what else can I tell you about? Yeah, so after three days, and then I think it's eight, and then you, you maybe do one more. You look at the egg to see if it's viable. Because if it's not living, or it's not fertilized, or it's cracked, or it's whatever's inside there is dead, you don't want it being heated up. That's the last thing that you want. A, it's not gonna do anything, apart from possibly explode or crack, and give off an almighty smell that you really don't want in your house. So you take those eggs out and throw them away. But the viable eggs, you keep in the incubator. Easy so far? So you buy an egg, stick it in, plug it in the wall, leave it. Three days, you take the egg out and you hold it up on a light, maybe your mobile phone light, this incubator here has got a light attachment, which I can switch off and on. And you can see inside the egg. Now, if, there's, if it's dead and there's nothing happening, uh, it shows up like a light bulb, a very pretty light bulb, all like sparkly. But after three days, if there is something, you'll see little black, uh, what would you call veins inside the yolk, you'll see those. Stick it back in the incubator, dead quick. If uh, after seven days, the yolk is, uh, will be black, because that's the body of the chicken with all the veins going out. Whoa, stick it back in there. And then after about a week and a half, maybe two weeks, it's moving. It's all moving about and pecking. It's 
it's moving. Put it back. Uh, after a bit longer, I think the whole gestation periods, I don't know, I'll have to look it up on YouTube, but I think it's about eight, 18 days or something, maybe 21 days. <clears throat> In the last three or four days, just do not lift, well, you don't lift the lid off for any reason, apart from looking at the egg, and while it's out, if it's not viable, throw it away. Don't lift that lid off, because it messes up the humidity and the temperature. And at any stage, you don't want to do that. So leave it in there. 21 days or whatever it is, I'll have to look it up. Pick, 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 pick. And it, there's loads of them walking around in there. Your first reaction, you've got to pick it up and cuddle it, give it a kiss or something. Don't do that. You'll, it'll be brown bread in half hour. Just leave it in the cage in the incubator for another three days. Let the thing dry out a bit because it's still wet. He don't know what it's doing. Uh, and leave it in there. After it's three days have gone by, you can pick it up and give it a cuddle or whatever you want to do with it. And you've got to transfer it into what's called a breeder cage. Or, in my case, where it's going to live. Uh, the cage itself is up there, okay? I haven't got it outside yet, there's no point. So you stick them out in, in there with a heat source, maybe near a light bulb, or uh, if you've got a light bulb on an extension lead, just put it over the cage to keep it warm, because it hasn't got any feathers, it's like bold. It's like me in a couple of years. After about a week when it's grown its feathers you can take the light bulb away and it's off and running and clucking feed it some food some corn or something and uh, a bit later on it's delivering eggs what a system so i'll keep you informed of all developments but at the moment we are there i'll zoom in for you there he is now you might see an arrow pointing off to the left on that egg. I put that on uh, so I could, these rails here, these are rails that spin and uh, every 120 minutes they'll spin the egg so you don't have to. And um, uh, that, that's because you don't want the inside of the egg sticking to the shell not good for the chicken so you've got to spin it round ah, I mean in, in the wild this is laying underneath some fat hen isn't it so that's getting up and going to the toilet getting up getting some food getting up having a walk around and it's moving the egg all the time so nature is good you know so what you're going to do you're going to do it manually if you if you don't get an incubator with a turner you're going to have to do it every two hours yourself so i would desperately suggest getting a turner and that's it end of story you can see a thousand youtube videos they're all going on about everything but basically that's it buy buy your uh, incubator plug it in get some water stick an egg in leave it inspect it regularly uh, <coughs> And then when they start to appear, leave them in for a couple of days, whack them in the breeder cage. End of story. How easy is that? So I'll keep you informed what happens on a regular basis. Hopefully we get Dan's diary too. Thank you for listening to that boring load of dribble. And I'll hopefully see you later. Bye bye.